Hey Mike, Racer Rob down here at Integrity Auto Care, and I have some great news on for you on your uh, 89 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am with no oil pressure gauge, um, brake lights on, low oil level light, and uh, just funky running, some O2 sensor stuff going on. So here's what we got. So key on engine off, you can see your oil pressure gauge is maxed out motor's not even running so we know there's a problem there right away so you're gonna love this one <clears throat> it was definitely a tough one um, the proof is in the pudding it's about 8 30 right now but uh, we stuck with it this is what I do I'm electrical whiz and my secret to success is I just never give up so uh, let's talk about the basics here so here's your wind diagram uh, you can see how the power comes in to your oil pressure gauge and then that goes down through the engine oil pressure sensor and then what grounds that is G112. Well what I found out was, uh, and this happens with grounds at times, is uh, G112 is right there and this harness after a while, the vibration of the motor, this harness has become an open circuit. There's a crack in that wiring. So, my friend, we have some bad ground issues. So remember that G110 and G111. <clears throat> I'll kind of show you. I'm a hands-on guy, and you'll kind of you'll love this part. So, <clears throat> there's my Trusky Fluke 88, and I'm testing the ground side of that. Oil pressure sensor, oil pressure sensor, which is supposed to be zero volts, and lo and behold, it is close to battery voltage. So, and this is what we had to take your intake plenum off. That's what's kind of a bear is the intake plenum had to come off to get to this oil pressure sender. <clears throat> but the good news is, my friend, is we're going to have this thing fixed and running great. So, kind of hard on the video as a C, but I've got my um, alligator clips hooked up to your they're both ground wires both black going back to the, the left side of the engine block in the back and you'll notice that when I go to test with my uh, handy dandy test light here that well this is a lot easier without the camera in my hand so bear with me here <clears throat> stay with me so there's one and there's the other and what we will do again both of those are hooked up to ground wires <clears throat> and lo and behold on one I have a ground which is great on the other I have a power which is not so great here, you know what? My light is so good here that I'm going to shut it off to show you that in a better uh, standpoint here. So nice green wire there, good ground. And on the other one, that my friend is power. And here's the proof in the pudding. I'm gonna go ahead and ground this lead which is hooked up to the ground back there and let's watch what our voltage does beautiful 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 now here we go <clears throat> this is why I love what I do the proof is in the pudding that gauge should read zero at idle and look at that that, my friend, is going to get your oil pressure gauge working for this hot rod Trans Am Firebird. Oh, I'm sorry, Pontiac Firebird. Whoops. So we're going to get that working. I have a really good feeling that we're going to fix a lot of these other weird, mysterious gremlins because those two grounds, not only do they affect your pressure gauge, oil pressure, they, remember we talked today a little bit about your... The weird O2 sensor readings I was getting, you'll see it's the same ground, G112. 
that goes to all of the O2 sensors. And we may get lucky here. I've seen weird things happen with electrical. Your oil level that is low as well too. <clears throat> that circuit goes through G110. So once again, G110. We're gonna clean up all those grounds there. And I'm not super confident, but you never know. The brake ABS light that you have on, that may be a different circuit. But my models always fix the easy stuff. Well, this was not easy, but always fix the obvious stuff first. So that's what we're gonna do. We're going to fix up ground. Like I said too, get some wiring them over here a little bit better. Get your intake manifold on there and run this baby. So that's it, Mike. Appreciate your business. Racer Rob Russell with Integrity Auto Care over and out. And I'm going to go spend the night with my lovely wife and wrap it up for the night. Okay, Racer Rob, Integrity Auto Care over and out.